Right. Fudge lady's house. Path. I don't know where the sign is. Could have been blown over. Could have been stolen. Well, I wanted to go at uh, uh, two. It's nine o'clock. Three o'clock. It's about two hours. I don't know what the time is at the moment. It's probably about two hours, two and a quarter hours. Third day. Uh, quarter past, oh, well, it's about the time they get there. <coughs> We're getting the fudge now. Um, yeah, it's about the time they get to the boat and we get going. Uh, could be half five. Burn Dyke. And we'll see. Possibly not. Warm wet water, mud weight. We'll find it over there, won't we? We've still got plenty of time. That's it again, South Ocean. Don't mind. Well, my thoughts was they wanted to go to Bramworth. Now, Christine's said that me and Sam tomorrow are taking the kids off the boat to give them time to clean it. So, if we're at Ramworth, we can have a walk up to the nature reserve. Um, well, they're cleaning the inside of the boat, and then when we get back, we'll clean the outside of the boat. Or oh, we'll have done it before then. Um, yeah. A bit weird, these Friday turnarounds for me. I'm not happy really about it. It's, uh, it's not ideal for us. It's all right for them people living around the corner in it or just a couple of hours away. Don't really matter to them, I suppose. Well, it will do, won't it? Cause you eat. Right, Friday, summer. We've got four hours. Well, three hours. Um, with daylight left. No, we had two hours when we got here. So not too bad. Come October when it's dark at five o'clock, and um, February. So you just spend the first night in the boatyard. Anyway, that's still make the most of it. Still enjoyable. So I'm not too sure if this. I think it might be this guy. I can't see from this distance. But somebody else is just coloured me, not coloured me, it's just, um, said, are you Dave? Yeah, Kim thinks I'm famous because people recognise me, <laughs> if only. Right, so I'm not, I've got the key now, because I know that they're going to take it ages. Well, maybe not. Is that them? Is that them? Well, it's them and somebody else. Looks like Eliza's on Sam's shoulders. Declan's in the pram. And Christine and uh, what she called the other one. Kim. Gimbley. They're walking along with them. Right, anyway. We'll see what happens. Um, I, I, there's every chance I could actually walk past Gear Stair there. No. They're going back to Gear Stair, I'm sure they are. So. It, wind got up a little bit the breeze and it's a very chilly in that breeze but April what fantastic weather fantastico ready when you are
Start when she said, are you ready? I mean, they were ready. Obviously not. There's the children. Oh, boy's going Go yeah? On, Dave. Go for it. Right. A little bit later than the intended set off, but never mind, it's still got to be a nice cruise. Then we'll end up where we end up, even if it's in the middle of Warmite water on the mudway. Well, there was plenty of space, well obviously, as you've seen, when we got here, it was empty. There's plenty of space at Neatstead. Are you alright, Mrs? Yeah. Is that as stressful, yeah? No. Oh, that's good. Right, on to Barton. And then, well, the usual cruise back down the hunt. Let's see what that brings with us. Right, multitasking again. Not recommending when he went past one of the rangers sat in his boat. Trying to get me up to work, it's showing us London Bridge. Same tide rising. So we'll be punching the tide a little bit. But not that much on the ant, is it really? Um, so we are here again at Hurstead. And it's still a gorgeous day. I will be passing the Elm over soon. things in the middle of the river here, is it? Or is it moored up? I think it's moored up, isn't it? No, it's not. Right. <laughs> hmm, there then. There then, Mr. Wilkes. So you're tacking. You're going to make it past that boat? We will. Yeah, you should do. Drifters escape. They were there when we came up. Useless. Oops, I think this is being towed back to the boat yard, is it? Add up to it. So anyway, we never got to see a kingfisher. We haven't seen a otter. Hmm. What have we seen? Plenty of marsh areas, plenty of rooms. 
Plenty of pigeons. Some noisy kids. Um, this is one of them really chill days. If we can get it at Fern Dyke, it'd be even more chilled. Right, that was it. Well, here we are at Tywell again. Quarter to four. Quarter to four. Don't really want to moor up here. Ferndyke's the preferred ride. Um, if not, then it's anywhere basically. Possibly mud bit again, but I cleaned all that. Oh dear, look at that. There's no point hanging it down because you can't wind it up enough to get it to the top so it'd be banging against the one in front of the boat. So we don't really want to do that, so we've left it on the deck. Hopefully they'll be able to sort it out. It's a bit weird, it'll wind down but it won't wind up. Right, so anyway, if you come in here and you're looking for the secret garden, just go up the path to the left. This path. And keep walking up until you see the sign for it. If you go up to the field, where the all is, then you're going into other gardens that's not secret. It's still nice though. And they took uh, Eliza up to have a look at the eel catcher's cottage. Makes you wonder how, how they used to manage it. You must have been midgets, wasn't they? We, we can't say that, can you know? No, you're not allowed to say midgets. You can't even call them midget gems now, can you? You've got to call them mini gems. <laughs> yeah, right. Snowflakes rule. I have a mate called Paul Jump and if he starts taking the mickey quite often bounces back on him about how small he is so last week he was, uh, we were I was having a game of snooker and he was um, on his usual taking the mickey which it's the only band to be having that good laugh um, and then I, so I mentioned the story about midget gems, you can't call them midget gems anymore, they're called jumpy gems. So that shut him up, well, for about five minutes anyway. But yeah, I go for a game of snooker Mondays and Fridays, sometimes Saturdays, occasionally Sundays with my nephew. Uh, you can't concentrate on playing snooker, it's just like they all take the mickey all the time, barricking you when you're taking shots. Scandalous. Yeah, so it's um, getting quite full up here. The dawn and eyes are still here. Must be um, staying again. I think it is 24 hour warnings though. So. Maybe just uh, either getting gone or bending the rules. Yeah, three 24 hour moorings.
Can I put the children out there asleep on the bench? Right, next one's Ludden. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Ludden Bridge. Multitasking again, wrong side of the river. Well, I'll break foot again. That's about the same as when we came through, I think. This morning. So we've had a fair old cruise today, then haven't we? We've been up the ant and down the ant. And we're not far off Flooding Bridge now. Mm, not sure where this is going to work. On the tripod bit. And me. GoPro handle. There's a little vibration going on here. What's that about? <coughs> um, I don't know about that going on in the other <laughs> Keep your eye on it. Ooh. Oh, see what I mean? That's not going to work, it's going to bring me off, never mind, they'll bring my camera over. Oh, right. Back to in the end. Wife is on a siesta. Mum and Dad are looking after the kids. I don't know. Yeah, it can be quite fun here. Sometimes. Space here. Four point oh eight miles an hour. Where is he going? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, nice one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah do you see what I mean about it being funny? I'll put the light, light out. I don't know if you went past. Oh well. <coughs> Don't go for breaks. No then. <laughs> Ludden Bridge. We're not at Ludden, we're at Ludden Bridge.
Somebody is going to have to take over in a minute. Come on then, it's your turn, get a move on. Oh, they've left you. It's getting a bit breezy now. Right, so a little bit now till we come to the ant mouth. Hmm. I'm definitely going to have to return now. <laughs> Go on, shouldn't we think? Oh, we can't. There, uh, two of them got up. No one's knackered. It's like some flapping for a bird that size, isn't it? Right, I'm going to have to go. Right, we're here at the ant mouth now. Going on to the viewer. Um, I reckon it'll be about 45 minutes. Something like that. Oh. The app hasn't been updated, I don't think, on the tides. Oh, it's been saying it was a bridge on bloody day, though. Oh, think about it, it's changed. We're around an entrance. No. So the tide is falling, so we're going with the tide now. Well, we will be, we're going to get out of here. Well, we have been. Right, we're just going to go past St Bennett's. I'm not going to film all the way down. Whoa, that's the end of blowing off again. Wind's got up. We're going to have to go in. Siesta time. Oh, it's so good. How could it be a siesta? It was a really bad night last night. When I did get sleep, I had some weird dreams. I dreamt I was watching a tennis match and there was three people on each side. Instead of doubles, it was like trebles. Big long court. Really weird. It might be picking it up on the camera. Oh, it's a lot windier now. Just put my head up through the roof. I blew my hat off and I managed to catch it on the back of the boat. Well, not on the back of the boat, just on the uh, So, yeah, we're now at the third mouth. So, another 10 minutes, we're moored up. He's heading down the viewer, I think. Oh, or maybe not. Nope. Oh yes. Which? I'm not sure. Is he? Is he not? Which way? Left or right? No, he's going up the fern. All right, I'll go. Alright, I'm hoping that we've got room here. Because I did say that Ricky was in the white horse and I did say uh, I'll have a pint with him in the lane. 
So, we have to get in somewhere, don't we? Otherwise it'd be rude for me not turning up. Anyway, I'm going back inside because that bloody wind is freezing. Right, well. I think there's spaces, but I can't really tell from here. Prefer to be on the left hand side, if possible. So we're having mooch up well, there's one boat right at the top up there. So I think there might be spaces. But if you've seen my videos before, I like to get down to this bottom end so it's easy to just reverse out in the morning. It can be tricky trying to turn around at the top there, but anyway, we'll see. Um, We can get well we could get right at end here, no problem. We could go right at the bottom first, Christy. We could go right at the bottom here on this one if you want. Which side? That side. It's a bit of a walk, but if there's cleats there we'll do that right and we'll have to turn you off. Oh well, we're in, right on the end, look at that Nick. Your favourite spot. Oh, then poor sold up, the front one looks a bit uh, iffy. Who was coming here, see where they've done some lighters behind me? Look, there's a woman sort of banking, reserving the mooring. <laughs> I don't give a shit, mate. I'd have gone down a bit farther, but... Uh, apparently they come down here, try to moor up, um, in front of this one here, which is what's this one called? Oh, what is it called? Oh, I better tell her, bring a torch. Princess of light, so I think it's trying to look in front of this. There seems to be a few cleats missing. That's all they said. Oh. There's one there that could be shared. Yeah, it's a bit overgrown. Yeah. They did a right good job of this a couple of years ago. Come on, Ricky, what, what's your game? I'll have to have a word of you know that. Oh, well, it's overgrown, isn't it? You can't even see them. <laughs> it needs a trim. Yeah, so it's run anchor job here. Uh, it was placed over on the. We could have come down the dike, gone in front of Commander. There's cleats over there, I can see them. They could have come, come right down here in front of a glint of light. Not there's any cleats, but we could have done on anchors. Well, let's have a look. Yeah, there's a cleat there, one there. Share that one, and one there. And one there. So, there's no big issue with them <laughs> reserving the spot, but never mind, we're in at the end. And I'm going down now to see if I can book a table. I'm taking one for the team, I'm actually going to the pub earlier than I would have done. It's, uh, what was that? Three morning, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., after 4 p.m., 5 p.m. Alright. So they don't want to stay there, we could come here and put down here. Oh, I think we'll be I think we'll be all right there at the end. Nick and Nicky Cotton always more there. Um, right, so I'm going to come in now. Can you go in a pub just to book a table and not order food, uh, not order a drink? Is that legal? I don't think you can, can you? No. I'm going to have to at least have a drink, aren't I? I'm not walking all the way back down there, I'm just waiting for them. So I'm going to see if we can get squeezed in. I don't even know what time to serve food, so I'll try ringing. First of all, it sounded like somebody had the red in the fishbowl. And then, second one, it was just the answer phone. So, I didn't bother. So anyway. Well, Ricky said, if you're down there, I might see you later. 
so <coughs> so anyway still quite nice in the sun no drone not done it again ever it's getting breezy though now right, so anyway we was well the thing is what, what we're supposed to be doing we're supposed to be having tackles on the boat I think that was the plan and then Sam said I don't do they do food at the lion I said I think so not know at the time so um he said, right, I'll pay for tea. I don't fancy Chris for tea. Right, fair enough. So I'm going to go in now and see if we can get booked in anytime soon. Pool table outside as well, that's new. Yeah, right, and some of that. Oh, he'll be wanting to get on here, won't he? I think the score so far is. Um, Ooh, another quick turn. Oh, look at that. That is not level, is it? <laughs> that is definitely not level. Let's have a look at that again. You know what, Tom? You don't come out unless you put your money in. Oh, right, right, anyway. We will see. Oh no, battery. I'll tell you what, pathetic these batteries. Right, Nick, this is your fault. My fault is. Are you called Nick? Oh, sorry. <laughs> right, I messaged Nick who commented. I'm talking to Sam now, by the right, way. Right, I'm with you now, I'm with you. Right, so I messaged him saying, because that's his favourite mooring where we are now. Right. He likes to go down there and fish. And I messaged him saying, are those posts safe? Because they seem a bit iffy. Yeah. So he says, tie it up to the bench. It doesn't matter if people trip over the ropes. <laughs> you were a bad man, Nick. Bad man. So, there's loads of room down here. So what we're going to do now is, leaving the women down there at the pub, me and Sam are going back to the boat. I'm going to bring it down here. So, yeah. Which we could have done earlier on, really, but... In fact, I don't know why the other boat didn't do that, really. You said there was no pegs? Yeah, I think they'd only gone a bit up. It's loads of here, though, I think it's the first time on a boat that was packed where it is. Mm, could be. Decided to move down the dike. <laughs> Makes it a little bit easier for getting back on the boat after. Um, the boat's just gone up in front. So I'm hoping he's going to moor up nice and tidily and not take up. There, uh, you, there's enough room for three boats at the top there. Um, and plenty of cleats, so we should be okay. Yeah, it can be tight up here. And I was talking to Ricky before at the White Horse and he said that he looked on the, the other camera of the pub. It's not a webcam, but he's thinking of doing that. And um, all the boats moored up down one side. Because sometimes you come down here and when it's really, really windy, it pins you up against this side here. But we're going to just go just after this Boat here. I'm not too sure he's going up and turning around, it must be because I don't think he's mooring up there. Um, anyway, so it can be a little bit tight, I th and whether he's mooring, uh, whether he's going up to turn around and then moor up, I'm not too sure. There is a turning point at the top. Obviously, I won't be reversing out of here in the morning like I normally do. Right, I'm putting this camera away now. It's getting a little bit tight here, so a little bit bumping another boat. Can help it. 
Well, it's me just going to go here, is Would you like to try my pasta? Yes. It's made plate. Try my burger. What? You got some lemon. I don't like lemon. You don't like lemon? That's a bad thing getting stuck in there. Fuck it, Jack. Oh, strangely enough, we're in the toilet again. Anyway. Lovely meal at the Lion Inn and a few beers. Uh, me and Chrissy. Uh, what's me? Oh, this band. Oh, my oh, Mr. God. Pathetic. Me and Christy and I'm going back to the boat now, I'm leaving them to finish off. Declan will just clear everything off them. Out, work, eats more than me. Right, anyway, lovely meal and a few beers. Nice. Hmm. Might be a bit too early. Mm. Well, we had a good sunset the first night. Looks like a good sunset the last night. It's getting fresh now, obviously. What a fantastic week. Not one drop of rain. Absolutely gorgeous. Actually, that's blinding me, I better turn away. See, it makes you blind, you know. Is that looking at this one? Is that? Oh, let me just start that. It'll make you blind. Nice, isn't it, that, Kim? I don't know what it's doing it justice. It's actually blind in that. That is gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, we do get nice sunsets at home, but it's like back like of somebody's house facing us. David! Not quite. Oh, I've got to close the roof. It's yeah. cold. Excuse me. Hey. We're having a sauce moving. Right, okay. Oh, thank you. Oil. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Sunflower spray. Declan, Not no. that way. No. 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 <laughs> what will it be nearly to do? Pardon? What will it nearly go to do? nearly fell down that step over there. Yeah. Oh, brown sauce. Brown sauce. Yeah. yeah. Good lad. Good lad. Thank you. <laughs> there can't be much left, can there? Oh, oh, some more oil, some more oil, thank you. That must be it now. The shelf must be empty now. Is, is that it? Any more? Oh. Uh oh, what's that? Oh, oh, salt, no pepper and salt. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Is that it? No. Have oh, we got everything? <laughs> there can't be much more left uh, now. Oh, juice. And vinegar. Yeah, thank you. Oh my word, and more. Right, I'll tell you what, let's play another game. Put them all back. No. Yes. No. Eliza. Grandkids, who'd have them?